Then the word that John heard last night. That was right on time, wasn't it? Amen. That word was spoken back in 1976. <laughs> 1976, isn't that something? And, uh, but it was really good. And I thank God for it. And uh, Sister Barbara was showing me a, a CD back in 1968. I tell you, that's for some of y'all are born. But the Bible says that uh, the waters, I mean the uh, grass wither and dries up, but the word of the Lord remains the same. Man come and goes, but the word remains the same. I'm not going to hold you but about uh, 15 or 20 minutes, but but I was listening, and that really uh, registered with me when he was saying it. He's a seeker after God. And uh, I just felt to talk on that uh, for two or three services, becoming seekers after God. I mean, you want to be a seeker after God. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That's right. I, I really thank God for, for the Word. Jeremiah chapter 29. You have a microphone. Jeremiah 29. And verse 13. Jeremiah 29 and verse 13. And then we're going to go to uh, Genesis. We'll just go into this a little bit. Please remember, y'all got the uh, Pacifics on the uh, flavor yet, everything. Address. I know uh, somebody said to me it's going to be on Saturday on the 11 o'clock in Tulsa, but we should only have the location of the church. We'll get that for you. Thank you. We'll get that for you. For you that can go, but you that can go services, we'll still be having services here Saturday morning. Saturday morning at uh, 11 o'clock. Praise the Lord. Me and Brother Chuck have to be up there and stand with Brother Wallace Sister Gloria and the Sister Reed and their family to strengthen them. And uh, but we have, I guarantee you, have someone here that's very well qualified yeah. to uh, bring the word this Saturday morning. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 13. And you shall seek me. You shall seek me. And find me. Uh-huh. When ye shall search for me with all your heart. Thank God. That's what a seeker after God is going to have to determine that they're going to do. Seek it and find it. And if this ever was a time they could do it just now. I want you to turn with me to the uh, book of uh, to the book of Genesis. If you can't find it, it's just okay. Okay, thank you. Genesis chapter 5 and show you verse. But I'll tell you what, we're going to, um, I was going to start at verse 24, but we'll just start here at verse. Thank you, Jesus. So in verse 5, Genesis 5 and verse 5. And all the days that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. And that's something. Go ahead. And Seth lived 105 years, and begat Enos. And Seth lived after them, after he begat Enos 870 years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Seth were 912 years, and 
He died. And he could live a long time back then. Uh -huh. And he also lived 90 years. And he got pain. And he also lived up and he got pain. 815 years. And he got sons and daughters. And all the days of Enos were 905 years. And he died. And Cain lived 70 years. And he got. Can't say that. Mahalia. And Cain lived after he began Mahalia 840 years. And he got sons and daughters. And all the days of Cain were 910 years. And he died. And Mahalia lived 65 years. And he got Jared. Jared. And Mahalia lived after he began Jared 830 years. And he got sons and and daughters, and all the days of Mahalia were eight hundred and ninety and five years, and he died. And Jared lived a hundred sixty and two years, and he begat Enoch and Enoch. And he and Jared lived after he begat Enoch eight hundred years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Jared were nine hundred sixty-two years, and he died. And Enoch, Enos. Enoch lived sixty and five years and began Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God. Wait a minute, stop right there. You heard about all these great men, how they lived nine hundred and some years and they died. That's right. You don't read about them doing nothing though. I, I'm not saying they didn't do nothing for God. But here you read about Enoch walk with God. That's right. You don't read about all these other ones doing all this. Enoch walked with God. Yes. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. There's a scripture that tells us in the book of Amos that um, that we are to um, be able to walk with God. Yeah. You ever read that scripture in the book of Amos? Where he says, um, I believe it's Amos chapter 5 and verse 3. Something about um, how can two walk together except they be agreed? So for Enoch to walk with God, he had to agree with God. You know, God ain't going to come down to our level and agree with us. We got to come to his level, which is the word, and abide in that word and let that word abide in us. And Enoch walked with God after he begot Methuselah 300 and what? 300 years and begot sons and daughters and all the days of Enoch were 365 years. Most of them lived 900 and some years but now Enoch only lived 365 years and Enoch what? Walked with God. Walked with God. And he was that, for God took him. He didn't say he died. He said he was that, for God took him. Well, I would love to, you know, have that kind of experience. And, you know, wake up one morning and walk with God all the way into him. Uh, leave out of here at night and just walk with God all the way to him. We're now finished reading that. And Methuselah lived 180 and seven years and begot Lance. Is that right? Yeah. And y'all, I can pronounce these names. We'll finish reading that, brother. And Methuselah lived after he begot Lance. 700, 780 and two years, and he got sons and daughters. And all the days of Methuselah were 960 and nine years, and he died. Uh -huh. And they managed to live 108, lived 180 and two years, and he got a son, he got a son, and he called his name Noah, saying this, this shame shall come forth 
sorry, this saying should, should, should comfort us concerning our work and toil of our hands because of the ground which the Lord had cursed. And Lamech lived after he begat Noah 595 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of, of Lamech were 700, 700 70 and 70 years, and he died. And Noah was 500 years old. And Noah begat. Before we go into that, let's, let's just read uh, Genesis 6, verse 3, and go to verse 8. Genesis chapter 6, verse 3 through 8. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, but that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be 120 years. And go to verse 8. And Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? And the scripture goes on to say that only eight people were saved back then. Huh? So it had to be that God, for Noah, for him and his household to be saved, he had to be somewhere a secret out to God to find favor, to find grace with God. Huh? He had to be another one of those seekers out to God. And then you read over there in Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 through 4. Let's read that. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 through 4. Now the Lord has said unto Abram, uh -huh. Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee. And curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all families. And what's going to happen to all these countries that surround Israel now. Mm -hmm. And we're still saying today. Yeah. I'll bless them that bless you. And I curse them that curse you. Mm -hmm. And that word, that's why that little bitty tiny country over there is still surviving. God's promise to them yes. is from generation to generation. Yes. Go ahead, finish reading. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So Abram departed as the Lord had spoken unto him. And Lot went with him. And Abram was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haran. Isn't that something? You know, he, he had to be a seeker after God because... God told him to put away from your daddy, put away from your home, put away from your country. Mm -hmm. They was eight, they was pagans, or they were idolatry. Yeah. But God had told his father to do the same thing, but his father didn't listen. Mm -hmm. But the word of the Lord has come to Abram, Abraham, eventually. And Abraham put up roots and went to where God told him to go. Not the one where he was going. And yet obey. He become why? He was a seeker after God. Yep. He knew all those images that he was making. Couldn't talk, couldn't hear, couldn't see. But yet he was uh, one that making all these images, following in his father's footsteps, and his father had made him. But now Abram was sick and tired of all of this. So Abram, you know, God knew Abram's heart was searching for the true God. Searching for reality. And God appeared to him. Say Abraham. Abram. Leave your father's house. Leave all your kid folks. And go into the place that I'm going to show you. And Abram. Obeyed. But he took Lot with him. You know. That was a drag. But he took Lot with him. Go ahead. And Abram took Sarah. His wife. Uh -huh. And Lot. His brother's son. And all their substance that they had gathered, and the souls that they had gotten in Haran. What verse is that? Verse 5. Okay, let's go to verse 7 and 8. And the Lord appeared unto Abram and said, Unto thy seed will I give this land. See, that's, and they're still standing on that promise. Mm -hmm. yeah. Unto thy seed I'm going to give this land. Uh -huh. And there builded he an altar. Wait a minute. I remember my precept message years ago. Build an altar. Yes. Build an altar. Yes. 
out of all these different ones, now we we found one walk with God mm -hmm. so much and so close until God just couldn't stand it, so He just took it mm -hmm. without him dying. Yep. And here's another one that God has told him to leave your, uh, you know, career. Yeah. His career made a career. I mean, wealthy, they had good money, making the career a career, making them idols, mm -hmm. making them images. Yep. But he know that they couldn't hear, they couldn't see, they couldn't talk, they couldn't do nothing. He had to carry them about with donkeys. And now God is telling me, one, if you seek it for reality. If you're seeking for the true God, pack up. Right. Get yourself out of this place yeah. and go, and I'm going to show you. Right. And I'm going to be real to you. Read verse. And so when Abraham got there, first thing he done was build an altar. Mm -hmm. You didn't find where nobody built no altar. Mm -hmm. Out of all these different ones, they didn't build. But yet, there was one place where another one I believe his name was um, Genesis 4 and verse 26. Read that one. We don't know what you got there. Genesis 4 and 26. Read that. And to Seth. And to Seth. To him also there was born a son. To him also was born a son. And he called his name Enos. And he called his name Enos. And he began men to call upon the name of the Lord. And man started praying way back like then. So when, when uh, he began to call upon the name of the Lord. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. He was a seeker after God. Mm -hmm. That's the first time I heard man started praying. Mm -hmm. When man started calling on the name of the Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, now go back over here what you was reading that a minute ago. And there built he an altar. Where is that in? Verse 7. Verse 7. Genesis 12 and 7. 12 and 7. Uh -huh. And the Lord appeared unto Abram. He built an altar. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Everybody needs an altar. Yes. Everybody yes. needs a place where they can meet with God. Yes. Everybody needs a place where they can call on the name of the Lord. Yes. God needs seekers after him. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't be a seeker after God if you don't build an altar. Can't be a seeker after God if you don't do like Enos, call upon him. Right. Amen. Can we? Finish right. reading that. Mm -hmm. And the Lord appeared unto Abel. And the Lord appeared to Abel. And said unto thy seed, so, well, give this land. What verse is that? Verse 7. Okay, finish that. And, and go to verse 8 too. And there built he an altar. There built he an altar. How do you build an altar for God? Have you got a place where just you and God meet? Mm -hmm. Huh? Besides just coming to church and praying. Right. Right. Everybody needs an altar. Yes. Everybody right. needs a place where they can meet with God. Right. Where God yes. can sanctify that place. Yes. Where he can send his presence, send his instruction, send his spirit, yes. send what we need to help us to get through these times. Right. We have an altar. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. And he removed from thence unto a mountain. Uh huh. On the east of Bethel. Yes. And pitched his tent. He pitched his tent. Having Bethel on the west. Uh huh. Bethel in the west. And Hai on the east. Yes. And there he built an altar unto the Lord. There he built an altar unto the Lord. Finish and reading. he called upon the name of the Lord. Called upon the name of the Lord. That's what that altar is for. Yes. You had to collect dust. Right. It's there. It's why you fellowship. Yes. Why you commune with him. That's, that's like your closet. Come, Jesus said, shut the door. Shut the world out. Get in a place where we can talk, where you can fellowship. I can yes. fellowship you. You can fellowship me. Yes. Finish reading that. And Abram journeyed. And Abram journeyed. Going on still toward the south. Uh huh. And there was a famine in the land, and Abram went down. So, but those are two things I wanted you to see. You know, is that through verse 8? You see what one man wait, one man, you know, walk with God. Mm -hmm. You see what another one call upon the name of the Lord mm -hmm. and build an altar. Right. Didn't he? Yes. This is what God is wanting. Seekers. Yes. 
that somebody that's going to come aside and build an altar yes. and pray yes. and seek him. Mm -hmm. The day you search for him with all your heart, you're going to find him. Yes. Now we're still talking about Abraham, but let's go to Genesis 17 and 1. Go ahead, read that Genesis 17 and 1. And when Abram was 90, 90 years old, he was 90 years old and denied, the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the mighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. Yes, see, it, it, it takes us from one level to another. First, you, you know, walk with it, you call on it, build an altar. Now he said, walk before me and be perfect. Yes. Be complete. God had appeared to him seven and tw uh, 25 years before this and told him that um, he was to bring forth a son. And now, here it is 25 years later, and God has said, walk before me and be perfect. Yes, sir. Go ahead. God, and I will make my covenant between me and thee. Uh -huh. And will multiply me exceedingly. Yes. And Abraham fell on his face. And God talked with him. So, yeah. and, and, and God said, as far as the, he, he multiplied like the sand, like the, he said, your seed is going to be like the uh, yeah. uh, sand of the sea. And like what? The stars of the sky. That's right. Your natural seed is going to be like the sand of the sea. Your, your sons of God, your spiritual seed is going to be like the stars in the sky. Right. This is the promise that God made to Abraham. Because he walked and then made a covenant. Yes. He made an agreement, a covenant with God. Yes. And that God was still keeping that covenant yes. with Abraham. Let's right. finish reading a little yes. more then. As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee. As for, go ahead. And thou shalt be a father of many nations. Uh -huh. Neither shall thy name any more be called Abram, but thy name shall be called Abraham. Yes. For a father of many nations shall I make thee. And I will make thee exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee, and thou seed out of thee, and thou in their generations, Lord, an everlasting covenant to be a God unto thee, and to thy seed after thee. And I will give unto thee, and to thy seed after thee, the land wherein thou what art. Verse is that? Verse eight. Uh -huh. Verse 8. Just, let's, let's go to Genesis 18, verse 16 through 21. And the men rose up from thence and looked towards Sodom. And this is, uh, well, this, this, I'm getting ahead of myself on this one. But look, Abraham, God said, you're going to have kings come out of him. Mm -hmm. I mean, this whole Old Testament. Look at all the different ones come out of the judges, mm -hmm. yeah. the um, kings, mm -hmm. the um, great men right. that God raised up. Man, right. Because somebody built an altar. That's right. yeah. Because somebody called upon the name of the Lord. Yes. Right. Somebody walked the seekers after God. This is why we got this Bible. Right. People sought after God. Yes. He said, search for me and you will find me. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Draw nigh to me. Yes. And I'll draw nigh to me. I'll draw nigh to you. That's right. That's right. We're going to be talking about these men, these seekers after God. Mm -hmm. And how many of them have been accomplished. Yes. 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 God said, you're drawn out of me, and I'll draw out of you. That's right. That's right. Yes. That's right. And Moses. Look at Moses. Not that ten of his, his father-in-law's father. Mm -hmm. and Moses. I mean, Moses didn't find God until he went up on that mountain. Yes. And sought for him. Yes. That's when he found God. Mm -hmm. When he left his father's sheep in that desert. And he went up there. 
And he found God. Yes. He never would have found God. We never would have had these Ten Commandments. We never would have had a lot of these things if Moses had the sought after God. If Abraham had to forsook everybody and his whole family and sought after God. Yes. If Joshua, after Moses was gone, had to, you know, sought after God, we wouldn't be reading all these different ex and all these different attributes and all these different exploits of these men. These were men that sought God. Yes. We're looking for God to seek after us, but He is looking for us. To seek after Him. Yes, Seeking. Yes. Seekers of God. Yes. Seekers of God. Brother Charles said on that tape last night, he said, I'm a seeker after God. Yes. This is why the Lord appeared to him April the 17th, 1967. Stood in his room, yes. touched it in the palms of his hand, gave him the revelation of Jesus yes. Christ. Same revelation he gave Peter, Paul, and John because he saw. He, he, he wasn't satisfied with just a uh, Pentecostal religion. He wasn't satisfied with what others got. Others got something. You know, I mean, uh, William Brown, he sought God. That's what he brought in, that healing revival. Yes. Amen, Pier Amen, Amen, Amen Mac Pearson right. and uh, others back in the 20s, they, they sought God. Yes. I mean, people didn't just come into a ministry accidentally. Uh -huh. They didn't just stumble upon something, but they sought after God. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. Amen. And that's what God is looking for us to do. Seek after Him. Mm -hmm. yes. Isn't it? God said, Moses, Moses. Mm -hmm. Moses said, here am I. Put your shoes up. Mm -hmm. Ground that you stand on this holy ground. Pull on, come out, come out of the world. Yes. Pull off all these things that attaches you to the world. Right. Pull off all this just stuff. Pull your shoes off. That's right. Man. You been stepping down this manure and all this stuff out here. Yeah. You, I, I'm, I'm a holy. That's the first thing I want you to know. You can't come here for me, you know, with all that mess. That's right. <laughs> Get aside all this weight. Yeah. Get aside all this sin. Yeah. Get aside all this mess. Yeah. All this stuff, all this thing. That's right. Hallelujah. If we're going to be a secret after God, God is holy. And they that worship Him are going to have to be holy. It's going to have to come out from among all the worldliness. People yes. trying to serve God yes. and trying to hold on to worldliness and carnality yes. and all that foolishness. Not so. I am holy. Be ye holy. Yes. For I am holy. I am not calling you to uncleanness, but I'm the holiness. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And if we're going to still seek her after God, we can't seek after Him and seek after all this other stuff, too. That's right. Man. We'll pick this up. I want to go into a lot of things here. You know, from that, um, listen to that last night. It really charged something in my spirit. And that's what we've been doing. We've been praying, seeking after God. Yes. Haven't we? Yes. And now we're seeing the purpose. We're seeing the reason. We're seeing the reward that's going to come with seeking after God. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Seek me with all your heart. Yes. Seek you first what you want. No, the Seek you first these natural things. Yes, Seek you first the kingdom of God yes. and His righteousness. Mm -hmm. yes, and all these things we have need of be, be added. But right. Lord, help me to be a seeker. Yes. Make me a seeker after God. Not a seeker after substance. Not a seeker after material things. Not a seeker after fame or fortune. Not a seeker to be known, but to, to be a seeker after God. Abraham being a seeker after God. And when God got ready to destroy Solomon and Gomorrah, he, he said, can I hide from Abraham what I'm about to do? Seeing that he loves me and going to command his family to walk after me. No, he's a friend. He's my. That's what I just said. I just said he was a friend of God. Yes. God reveals his secrets to his friends. Yes. And he said, Abraham, I'm yes. going to destroy Solomon and Gomorrah. That's right. Didn't he? Yes. That's right. Yes. He did. But thank God. Mm -hmm. We found some, a secret after God. Yes. 
Stand in the gap. That's what a seeker of the of the God does. He stands in the gap. Yes. When he see destruction coming. Mm -hmm. When he see trouble coming. Yes. When he see things that are not going the way they're supposed to go. He, they, they, they seek after God. Seek after God for your family. Yes. Seek after God yes. for your country. Yes. Seek after God for this election. Yes. Seek after God for your friends. Yes. Seek after God for your husband, your wife, yes. your son, your daughter. Seek after God for revival. God said, I'm looking for seekers. Seek me, you will find me. Seek and you shall find. Lord, make us a seeker. Put something in us to cause us to seek you. To seek after you. With all of our hearts. In the name of Jesus. Lord, just touch at the surface. But help us put it down in our hearts. Oh, God. Oh, Father, put it deep in our heart to seek and search for your kingdom, for your will, for your purpose, for your, the word of the Lord that you spoke to the men of God to be fulfilled in our day and our time. To seek until our families get saved, until the church get upon this rock and upon this foundation. Make a secret out to me. Make a secret out to me. That I walk with you like you did. That I call upon you like you did. That I will seek for you. Father in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Yes. Have mercy. Mercy, 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 mercy. I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Touch this nation. Touch, Lord. Touch, Lord. God, you expose yes, Lord. tonight. You have that debate now. Expose it. And that needs to be exposed. Yes, Lord. Yes. Lord, you expose it. Yes, Lord. Send your word. Send your we seek for you to stand up yes. for the Christians. Yes. Stand up, God, for the nation. Yes. Stand up yes. so we can have revival. Yes. God, stand up. Yes. He said, when the righteous are ruled, the people rejoice. Yes. But when the wicked are ruling, Lord, the devil is ruling. Then trouble comes in. We, we don't have enough trouble. We don't need no more trouble. We need you to do a quick work. Yes. We need you to cut it short in yes. righteousness. Yes. We need you to bring revival, yes. Father, for the sake of the Christian, yes. for the sake of all them souls yes. that are supposed to get saved. Yes. God, bring in this revival yes. and put a stop yes. to what needs to be yes. stopped. Yes. And, and throw them in confusion. Yes. Do what it takes God. to stop this dark cloud, yes. to stop yes. God, this liberalism, to stop yes. this socialism. To stop this communism. Father, in yes. Jesus' name. Yes, in Jesus' name. Yes, God, you told us that if, if we wanted to see a change, oh, we would have to stand in the gap. Oh, the My people are destroyed. Oh, the light of life. Yes, Lord, Many are going into darkness and deception Jesus. for the life of knowledge. Stand the Lord. Oh. Stand in Jesus. God help us. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. In the name of Jesus. Praise God.